All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of EVA Resource Transfer, which is being made by forum user DMagic, and what this glorious little piece of work adds into the game is a method of transferring resources while on EVA, as the name would kind of imply. Now it does this by allowing a Kerbal to attach a pipe between two ships that that will allow for the transfer of resources to occur, which you now may kind of be asking yourself, hmm, that kind of sounds a bit like maybe the Kerbal Attachment System, for instance. And, well, kind of yes, but this mod handles both the ships themselves as well as the resource transferring between them in a much different way than the Kerbal Attachment System would. And it's for these differences that make it really stand out, in my opinion, and really make it a useful addition to your game. Once again, in my opinion, but hopefully you'll agree after watching this. But hey, that's enough yammering on. Let's actually jump into the space plane hangar and take a look at the part that makes this all possible. Now, we won't be in here for long because, as I said, it's... It's, well, just one singular part, so let's grab a Mark 1 command pod, zoom in a bit, and head over to the Utility tab, where you'll see this EVA resource transfer pipe, which looks very much like just a repurposed fuel line, and, well, you would be correct. It's what this tiny little pipe is that allows the whole mod to work. You attach it to your ship when you're in the space plane hangar or the VAB, and then once you are on EVA out on your mission, you can right-click this to actually attach it to another nearby ship, which is quite useful. Now, I believe that the mod maker is hoping to add in Kerbal Attachment System support later in the future so that you could maybe throw a couple of these transfer pipes into your inventory, perhaps. But for right now, it has to be attached here in the uh, space plane hangar or, of course, VAB, and then you are good to go for your mission. So let's actually jump back out. I told you it wasn't going to be long in here and head over to, well, uh, just in front of the VAB and, uh, oh, actually, no, that would be the... Oh god, what's that building again? I always forget. The Astronaut Complex, there we go, where I have set up two lovely little rovers, one being piloted by Jebediah and the other by Bill. Let's jump into Jebediah's first to show off how you can't use this mod effectively. <laughs> <laughs> now, basically, the situation that I've set up here is Jebediah has been just roaming around the uh, Kerbal Space Center and is completely out of every one of his resources except for some electric charge. And Bill has come over with another rover fully stocked to help resupply him. Now, both the ships do have the lovely little... Uh, oh, God, can I right-click on it from in here? It's not wanting to cooperate. But yes, both of them do have the lovely little transfer pipe part right here. But the problem is Jebediah. He is a pilot, and only an engineer can actually attach these pipes. So if we get him out and we right-click on the transfer pipe, you see we do get the prompt for it. We can try to pick it up, but we get this warning right here. A Kerbal must be an engineer to activate the transfer line. So that is one thing to note. It must be an engineer. Pilots and scientists are basically use useless for attaching these pipes. So let's just put Jebediah back inside and head over to Bill and his lovely little ship. Get him out. And now if we click on this, well actually let's drop to the ground first and then click on this and pick up the EVA transfer line, you'll notice it is now attached to his back. And I can show off the first issue with this mod, that it's it's just a visual thing, it really has no bearing on the functionality of the mod, but I don't know, it just bothers me that the line clips through any item that's between it and its connection point, so it's attached to Bill's back, and it's just cutting clean through his helmet there. So uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just a minor bugbear thing for me, really. It has no bearing on any functionality. It just seems weird to me. But yes, we have it connected to his back, and at any time while he is walking around with it, we can drop the EVA transfer line by there. And that is the only place you can cut it from, is the connection point. You can't really interact with it on his back, uh, so you have to use it through the transfer pipe starting point. So let's grab it back again and walk on over to Jebediah's rover here, and how you actually connect it to another vessel is quite simple. All you have to do is be close to it and then put your mouse cursor 
over somewhere on the ship, and you'll see that the pipe is sort of moving around to the ship trying to find an attachment point. And once I do eventually click, it will attach wherever it is uh, at the mouse pointer right now. Uh, but if you aren't on the ship, it just automatically goes back to the backpack of whatever Kerbal is carrying it. So that is all you have to do, and you do have to be within kind of a close-ish distance. Let's kind of hold it on that. Wait, or it might be because we're still on it. Oh no, it's actually got quite the range. I know that, oh, there it is. See, there we go. We can't do it from this range. So you have to be at least this close to actually attach it to the vessel. Otherwise, it remains on the backpack. And you can actually go quite a ways. I was testing this earlier and was able to attach to this rover when it was all the way over here at this line. So it is quite a long ways, but I'll talk about that a little bit more in a bit. But let's just connect it up to this ship here. And as I said, you can attach it anywhere on the vessel and you'll be able to do the transferring. So let's just click it there. And now that the two items are attached, all you have to do is click on this and you'll see we have a new little prompt to open EVA transfer control. But first, before we do that, I should actually probably talk to you a little bit about how this is different in this current situation. Now, if you did attach these two vessels with the Kerbal Attachment System, which would typically sort of be your way of transferring between two ships, either Kerbal Attachment System, hooking them up with a pipe, or just docking to one another, either way you do that, the two ships become one singular entity. So this rover would be a part of this other rover, which is, you know, good. It allows you to transfer things between them, but it can also be very bad with wonky Kerbal physics. I've had it happen multiple times in the past where I would dock one complicated vehicle to another complicated vehicle, both of which had a large part count, and then things just go to hell once the two things come together. With this mod, on the other hand, these are still two entirely separate entities. They are not docked together at all. Jebediah's rover is still Jebediah's rover, and Bill's is still Bill's. They are not connected through anything except this resource pipe. So this ship does not have control over this ship or vice versa. They only can do a resource transfer, and I really like that. As you don't have to worry about docking, and then if you accidentally hit a control, making everything go wonky, they are their own separate entities. So it's lovely. Now we can actually go to the transfer controls, and you get this lovely UI. Now again, if you were to attach two ships with the Kerbal Attachment System, you'd be doing the fairly standard thing of, you know, right-clicking on a resource tank and then another tank and transferring the old-school way, whereas with this mod, you have this lovely little UI. And how it works is that any of these buttons you click, it adds that resource to the list here. And you can have up to five separate resources on this list. If we try to click a sixth, you'll notice it doesn't add to down there. You can only have five, technically. Technically, you can actually have six because you may notice this lovely little button here, Link, Liquid Fuel, and Liquid Oxidizer. If you click this, these two resources take up just one slot, and what's really fun is that it will transfer them in the correct ratio. Because yeah, if you've hopefully, hopefully noticed in the past, whenever you've built a ship, you always have more liquid oxidizer than you have liquid fuel, and I forget the exact ratio, but if we transferred these right now, each would be moving independently and it could be anything, really. We wouldn't be able to, it would be a lot more difficult to keep it in the correct ratio, but if we link the two, then it will transfer both at the same time and keep it in the correct ratio so that you have just the right amount of liquid fuel and oxidizer that you need. And now that these two have been combined, we could add the ore as well. So technically we're moving six, which is very cool. Now you also may be wondering, what if I have other strange modded resources that have been added into the game? Well, that is quite simple. You just click this little button here on the right hand side and you get a list of whatever other potential resources you have on your ships. So right now we have air intake or EVA propellant that we could add, but um, we don't have them. I will pop one of them on real quick because you'll notice these standard resources, they all have their own nice little icon. Any resource that comes from this list 
won't have a fun little resource. It's just there, and that that's that's it. But oh well, what are you gonna do? That's just purely a graphical thing, not actually an issue. But now that we have these two set up, and we have the four resources that I can transfer between these two ships, all you need to do is move these sliders. Now, we have Bill's ship here, the Transfer Craft 2. This is the one with all of the fuel. This one here, Bill, or Jebediah's, is just the Transfer Craft, so it's actually quite fortuitous that they're on the correct sides. Transfer Craft 2 is this one, Transfer Craft is this one. And we want to move fuel from here over to here. So all we need to do is move that slider into the Transfer Craft range, so that the resources will go to it. And we'll just move all of these over to 100% and hit begin transfer. And you'll notice they're all slowly ticking down and these three sliders are moving their way back to zero. And they're all moving at the same pace because they do it sort of by a certain percentage per second. Uh, rather than a certain amount of fuel. So like for instance, we had a lot more mono propellant than we had any other resource. Or well, actually no, we had more electricity than any other resource, but it moved at the same rate as the liquid fuel and oxidizer, which is the lowest amount of resource. So yes, it's it goes per percentage per tick. And that is how the uh, tra transferring actually happens. And of course, if we need to send some back over to this ship, you can just move them. And you can do it in any ratio you want. We can move each of these sliders to different positions. Click Begin Transfer and they will move. Now a fun thing about this, as well as that distance I mentioned earlier, is that these are configurable. You do have a config file that comes with this mod in its folder that allows you to change things like the allowable distance for connections, the speed at which things transfer, and a few other options, so you can really customize it to your liking, which is very cool. I quite enjoy that, and yeah, so you can change it to however you enjoy, or if you just want things to go really, really fast. That is all up to you. But yes, once you have finished transferring whichever resources, you just close this, and you just right-click this thing. Oh god, can't get it. There we go, and cut the EVA transfer line. And then we can have uh, Jebediah go on his merry way. Even though he does have a broken wheel, but that's what he gets for trying to drive through that pond. That is a lot deeper than I thought it was. But <laughs> yes, he can just go on his merry way, and now with loads of resources compared to what he had before. And, well, that is just wonderful. So that is why I really like this mod. It has a much nicer interface for resource transfer. It keeps the ships as their own independent entities, and it's just convenient. I really, really do enjoy it. I really like it, and I hope that you guys will go and give it a try, and if you'd like to, you can check the link in the description as always, and I do hope you check it out. It is a very cool, and uh, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this episode today, and of course that you come back for the next, but until then, thank you for watching, my friends, and as always, have a good one.